Hello, art students. Today we are going to be creating our Monet lilies. But before we actually create the lilies, we're going to create the water. So we are going to be using our watercolors. And um, we're going to try to make this paper look like it's real water, like we're looking down at it. Okay? So we're going to start by getting our brush wet in our water cup. Okay, and then we're going to swirl around in blue. Really load up your brush with lots of pigment. Let's get some nice blue vivid tones. And I'm going to just do my thing. Think about the water. It's got some wavy lines in it. You might want to try using plain water and dragging down some of the color to get different values. You might want to try reinviting some color into that pool of water. Okay. I want you to, this is really a moment in time where you can experiment with the way that watercolor actually works. Think of the waves and the ripples in the water. We're really trying to have our viewer think that they're looking at some wavy water. And you can see, sometimes I go for just plain water. Sometimes I go for the pigment in my color tray. And while blue is really a beautiful and wonderful color, I love you, blue. There might be some reflections of other colors on the water. Depending on the time of the day it is, really. It could be sunset time you know and there's probably going to be uh, some other colors on the water i want you to think about that i think i'm going to invite just a hint of green oh i like that do you see what that's doing a little just a hint of green not a lot just a little i like that that could be the reflection of the trees that could be the reflection of the lily pad itself, which we'll get here in a second. Try to create some wavy lines to show ripples of the water. Okay. And your paper is going to become really wet. It might start to buckle up and it might start to kind of curve. And I'm just going to continue painting my way from top down to bottom. And I'm, you know, if you want to try another color choice, if you want to invite a different type of color, I think if you try maybe violet, let's see what happens. Yeah, violet would be another good choice to try. I like that. Yes. Just by moving your brush around, experiment. Try to make it look like water the best you can. Okay, look, make it look reflective. Make it look just how you want it. Okay. And we're going to do this to the whole thing, okay? I'll show you what it looks like in the next video when I've completed it, okay? I'll see you there.